hello friends today we are going to study about the ventricles of the brain especially the floor of the fourth ventricle of the brain okay so ventricles fourth ventricle of brain okay floor of fourth ventricle floor of fourth ventricle of the brain okay, so i'll just tell you briefly brain you have total four ventricles okay Two lateral ventricle, one intermediate. We go to third ventricle. Last is fourth ventricle. Okay, these two lateral ventricles. I will show you with a diagram. Okay, let me show you this. Mm, this is your cerebrum. cerebellum okay so this is your right hemisphere this is your left hemisphere okay this is right your left hemisphere so from here this is a ventricle ventricle is nothing but a cavity okay this is when right from right hemisphere so you have a ventricle and from left hemisphere you have a ventricle okay both the ventricles ventricles here like this okay like this both ventricles here are connected by the interventricular foramen okay and next here you will have third ventricle okay you can use first second ventricle anything this or this first second ventricle with or lateral ventricle this is the third ventricle and slowly you will have this called duct of sylvius Aqueduct of Sylvius, and this here you will have your fourth ventricle. Ah, uh, fourth ventricle. This will continue into the central canal of spinal cord. Okay. So if I show you clearly here, see, this is your one ventricle. Consider right hemisphere, right ventricle. This is your left ventricle. This both. Are connected here by interventricular foramen. Interventricular foramen. Okay, and here you will have third ventricle. And this will continue as aqueduct of Sylvius. Okay, and this again ends in fourth ventricle. And this will end in the spinal cord, central canal of spinal cord, central canal of spinal cord. Okay. So this whole thing is your, this whole thing is your ventricle area. So today we are going to study about the floor of the fourth ventricle. What are the structures present? How it is formed? Okay. So this will be the floor of the fourth ventricle. Actually, the uh, this fourth ventricle, it has floor, roof, angles, okay, and there's so many structures. But today we are going to study only about the floor. As exam purpose, it's like very very important. Okay, so surely this lecture now. Uh, so fourth ventricle. Okay, first it is like a tent-like cavity. It is just like a tent, uh, tent-like cavity. Okay, where you see this in the hindbrain. Okay, and where is hindbrain present? It's present in the fourth. It is present in the posterior cranial fossa. Okay, so uh, we have seen the base of the skull. Base of the skull, it has three fossas: anterior, middle, and posterior. So uh, here you can see, and between anterior and middle, you will have uh, spinoidal wings, greater and lesser spinoidal wings. Okay, so just I'll show you with like the base of the skull. If I see this, this is like base of the skull. Okay, so here you will have. So like this thing is a uh, spinoidal wing. Okay. This is a 
lesser spinoidal wing greater spinoidal wing okay so here this is the anterior cranial fossa this is the middle cranial fossa this is the posterior cranial fossa so here is a hindbrain okay so here you will see in the posterior cranial fossa you will see this fourth ventricle okay the dent like cavity so uh, so if you see from a side view if you see from a side view this is your midbrain this is your pons and this is your medulla okay let me show you this is your midbrain this is your pons this is your medulla so side view let me show you and here you will have your cerebellum so it is like kind of this like this okay so this is your fourth medulla so from side view this is midbrain this pons this medulla so it is present in the upper part of the Mid, uh, upper part of the medulla is the medulla upper part of the medulla and in the lower part of the pons and the midbrain okay so the, and uh, mostly it covers the till pons okay and uh, and uh, it is present in front of the cerebellum so basically i can say it is present be, present behind upper behind lower part of pons and upper part of medulla okay and it is present front of it is present front of cerebellum that is the whole fourth ventricle now let's see about the flow of the fourth ventricle uh, so friends flow of the fourth ventricle flow of the fourth ventricle okay it is formed by the posterior surface of pons okay and upper part of medulla Three points. Okay, so I'll show you the medulla. Okay, this is the upper part. Uh, this is the posterior surface of the points, and this is the a uh, posterior surface. We can see the posterior surface that is to that to the upper part. See, this is the lower part. This is the upper part. So this whole thing. Okay, here. So basically, the floor will lie in this area only. That is what I want to say. Okay, in the posterior surface of the pons and the upper part of the medulla. Uh, and it's about this shape. It is diamond shape. Okay, like this kind of. Okay, diamond shape or you can say rhomboid shape. So this floor is also known as rhomboid fossa. Okay. And uh, it is divided into three parts. Divided into three parts. So this is uh, this upper triangular part. This intermediate part. This is lower triangular part. So you can uh, see here this whole is one triangle. Right? So upper triangle. This is one. This is lower triangle. This intermediate part is. This intermediate area. Okay, so how can you see this? This is the up, um, posterior, the area, the area over the posterior surface of pons. Okay, so that will uh, that is known as upper triangular. Okay, and lower triangular is uh, area over uh, upper part of medulla oblongata medulla oblongata okay that is lower triangular next in between where the post where this posterior uh, where this medulla oblongata and the pons unite you see here this is 
points this is medulla oblongata so this area is your intermediate area okay and this is your upper triangular area this will form your lower triangle and basically that uh, what you say that uh, floor is present it is like kind of this shape so like this okay so upper triangle lower triangle this intermediate area so let me tell you about the boundaries so here you will see peduncles okay this is superior peduncles okay this is superior lateral boundary superior means up and lateral boundary this is formed by the shape here you can see this is your upper triangular lateral triangle this is upper triangular area lower triangular area this intermediate area here you'll have this uh, superior lateral boundary okay. superior lateral boundary by superior peduncles so i'll tell you cerebellum has three peduncles okay on each side right side three peduncles left side three peduncles superior peduncle middle peduncle and inferior peduncle the superior peduncle will form the superior lateral border of this fossa okay and here you will have inferior peduncles inferior peduncle of cerebellum will form the inferior lateral border okay so in the intermediate area you will have some fibers okay this fibers is known as stria medullaris so this is like a where if you see the stria medullaris then you can see this area is a intermediate area hmm? so uh, this is I, i told you about the boundaries now let me tell you about the fossa exactly okay so this is your fossa right your rhomboid fossa okay your rhomboid fossa is divided in uh, into two halves by one line this line is known as median sulcus median sulcus now uh, there is there is a elevated portion okay exactly beside this medial sulcus means elevation kind of like elevated portions like this okay and this elevation is limited by an sulcus like this okay. so here you will see elevation okay this elevation thing is known as median eminence and this is limited means the elevation ends here okay so this line is known as sulcus limitans okay then you know sulcus limitans and here you will see some follicular like structures these are the facial nerve neurons okay they will form a group and they will form a structure here okay circular structure rounded structure so neurons get here this one is facial but in facial neurons okay uh, so uh, this thing is known as facial colliculi facial colliculi formed by the facial neurons so facial Polyclinic. Okay, and the area. This whole area. First, let me draw here. We have uh, stria medullaris. Click this kind of thing. We have here this stria medullaris. Okay, and here. Uh, the area beside this uh, sulcus limitans will be vestibular area okay this is a line beside this this side this side both is the vestibular area this vestibular area widens into one triangular depression okay. this is known as superior
and similarly this vestibular area below here you will have inferior fovea okay now let's see about the about the lower triangle uh, so this is the rhomboid phase fossa your sulcus limitus okay here you have your stria medullaris okay here this is your median eminence sorry and uh, here you know uh, your vestibular area okay. vestibular area okay so this below your stria medullaris this area you have flick uh, in the lower you have two triangles this hypoglossal triangle okay and here you have one structure this two will be vagal triangle so you have two hypoglossal triangles one on each side and two vagal triangle okay so the lower triangle has two areas one is hypoglossal uh, one two triangles one is a hypoglossal triangle other is vagal triangle so this is all about your uh, floor of the fourth ventricle okay any doubts please put in the comment box thank you for watching